Hello there, and welcome to this, the Jew Padre podcast in association with Rated R Esports. Where who the hell knows where this conversation is going to take us? Well, let's find out. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 12 of Jupadre. I am Juhadre. I am Albatross17. And, and there I'm in the Blaine. center there, that's Bleen. That, no, no, that's Bleen. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. This is our first episode during the COVID-19 pandemic, and we decided to jump on the train of the social distancing as we have been instructed and are doing our first remote episode. Yes, yes, we discussed this this week, and... I had to order a webcam so I can get video of myself. It'll be here next Wednesday, unfortunately. Screw that freaking Amazon Prime <laughs> two-day shipping right now. Every guaranteed delivery is next Wednesday. I mean, I understand it. Come right, on. Right. The pandemic. That's the only way you're getting stuff right now is shipping. Yeah, so. exactly. So I will say that I personally don't want to dwell too much on the pandemic, its causes, its effects, all these type of things, because the, the media is currently oversaturated with it. Dude. The media is overdoing it, and exactly. I, we said, look, everybody, let's just be short with it, be safe, moving mm-hmm. on. Exactly. But and you know what? I miss you guys. I miss you too, Bleen. I really do. I miss you, Albatross, but not quite as you much as I miss Bleen. I don't miss Bleen right now, you oh. son of a bitch. Oh, bummer. Let's give some news here, people. Let's. This week, Bleen decided to tell me that he had the new Dr. Pepper cream soda, <laughs> but he didn't <laughs> wait for me. <gasps> don't, don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, even worse! It's in a bottle. <laughs> I know. Oh my I gosh! Couldn't find it. Well, in positive note, I bought the last two cases from Smith's today in Ooh. cans. Very good. What did you think? I haven't tried it yet. They're in the fridge, getting cold. That's better that way. Yes, yes, yes. I, I thought so, they were good, just not as good as the original. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's funny because as soon as you told me this, and Jihadre back backed me up. Jihadre thought this was funny. I went to the um, to the Dr Pepper website today to check out what other flavors <laughs> they had, and I found out that Team Solo Mid is sponsored by them. And I'm like, whoa, dude, what? Look at this, Jihadre, look at this. And he's like, dude, that's been that way for two years. Yeah. If you go to the website, the Dr Pepper website, sh- like the way they're broadcasting it and showing it, it's like it was brand new. Well, yeah, this is the way things uh, go, I guess. Oh, well. I didn't know about it. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, one of my favorite League of Legends teams, only because Juhadre got me into it, and my favorite drink, all in one. So, other announcements. Huge thank you and shout out to Admin Anonymous. Let's give him a, a round of applause. Woo! Yay! He helped me get this all set up last night. The man mm-hmm. is a champion, and it looks really good. Thank you, Admin. Uh, next up. The League of Legends team is signing up for the Phoenix Rising Academy League. That is going to be starting the first weekend of April, so look for announcements there. And um, I think the only other thing is, what is our Instagram, Alvatross? Oh, yes. Um, damn it. I am not into social media, so I forgot. Let me pl- Okay, damn it. I'm on my PC today instead of my phone. Okay, let me get my phone. So our Instagram, if you just go – no, that's TikTok. Uh, where did I put? Okay, Instagram. If you pull up Instagram and actually search Ju Padre, J U P O D R E, it should come up. You'll see our picture with the two pods. Um, and our only picture so far is of three paintings my wife made that are from a video game that yet nobody has to name. Oh yeah, that that little contest thing that we tried. Yes. So unfortunately, I apologize, but because we are social distancing, pictures are kind of slow right now. That's so cool. I will say we will get some more up there. I think what we'll do is we'll start with posting up our current social distancing podcast setup. Okay. I think that'd be interesting. We'll share that. I would love to see everybody else's. Show us what your workstation or your current social distancing quarantine nest is. I like it. I love it. I'm going to tweet that. So I'm going to tweet that right now. 
<laughs> so then on to the the topic of the day i had something specific that i think we should talk about right now because it it applies to to humanity as a whole at the moment but a, a little more particularly to what what i've been experiencing with the league of legends team and and the like and that is teamwork the idea yes. that doing something for the good of a team is more important than something for the good of oneself I like yeah. that. I like that. And it it kind of came up. I was watching some of the LCS videos, and they talk about specific players who are better teammates as opposed to better solo players. And then when I when we were trying to build our team, we have almost everybody in, and I've I thought back to certain players who were very selfish in the way they played. They they were very focused on themselves and not really willing to do what the team needed. And so I wanted to get your guys' thoughts and some some stories about how we as a team have come together to to make you Padre, how we as a team have made other events happen and those type of things and the importance of working with your your coworkers, teammates and your friends. Yeah. Yeah. So who would like Good to go there. first? Or should I tell my first story? You know, you go ahead. You go first. All right. So, a while back, we were we were in a league with the with the League of Legends team, and we brought on some new players. We were trying to get everything up and running and feeling good. We were in our actual league game, the first one with this exact group of five, and we had a plan. Based on the draft, we needed everyone to focus on the bottom side of the map. Okay. It was, it was going to be a real easy setup. We had the right champions. We had the right players. We had everything set up so that we would play to the bottom side. And that was the plan. Now, once we got into game, it was not followed. Like, not in the slightest. Players had said, be around the bottom side. We want to focus here. Be on the bottom side. And... Uh, it didn't happen. And then the enemy team also wanted to focus bottom side and their jungler literally camped the first eight minutes of the game on that bottom lane, just slammed everyone and everything. There was no safety. There was no anything. And instead of trying to fix the situation, nothing got done on the top side of the map. And when we talked about it as a team afterward, the the argument was that our jungler made the right call. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe maybe for him as a jungler, because he didn't fall behind in levels, he stayed up in farm, was ahead a little bit, but it didn't help the team in the slightest. We didn't get turrets up top, we didn't get ganks in mid, we didn't get anything except keeping our level in the jungle the same. And because of that, our main source of DPS and support in the bottom lane got way too far behind and nothing could happen. And we ended up losing in a spectacular fashion. And so that's kind of what, what I was leaning toward today is stories kind of like that where, or the opposite of that, where someone did do something selfless to help the team and something very special happened. So okay. who went? Next, Albatross, would you like to go, or do you want to push over to you Bleen? You know, I'm, I'm actually still thinking. I'm, okay. I'm going to pass this up to Bleen. Uh, were you looking specifically gaming? Or... No, not necessarily, because like I said, even right now, you know, there are some very selfish people out there taking all the toilet paper and the food, when if you just <laughs> get what you need, then everyone else can have some too. You know, be a te we are the human team right now. And there are a lot of people out in the world that just don't, they don't accept and care about that. All they care about is themselves. I'm all for self-preservation, but come on, we are a team trying to survive in this world together. So just any example. Hmm. All right. Well, one just came to mind. So Blaine, you, you care if I step in? Yeah, go ahead. I awesome. Awesome. Okay. So going off of what you were saying, Juhadre, is specifically with, um, with everybody that's going forth and just hoarding everything. Oh my gosh, I need toilet paper. I'm, you know, I'm going to shit myself so bad. We need so much. <laughs> uh, I'm going to actually just give the shout out to the team 
from Winco and Costco who are saying, yeah, no, no returns. Mm -hmm. No returns on the hand sanitizer or the the toilet paper that everybody's like hoarding and is now like, oh, I don't need this anymore. Well, can I take it back? No, you can't. Screw you. Exactly. You know, you should have been thinking a little bit smarter. So I think that was a good team move for for them. I actually hold people accountable in a way. Yeah. Saying, yeah. I like or, that a lot. Or the douchebag that decided to buy 17,000 <laughs> uh, hand sanitizers. Well, so, so that that was another real kind of self-preservation move. It was very self-lit or selfish where he bought all of it so that when it was time to start selling it, he could, yeah. you know, mark up the price. But apparently that's against the law, and so he couldn't even sell it. So now he's just stuck with seventeen thousand. No, things, so. <laughs> he doesn't have seventeen thousand. The uh, no? the county actually told him that they're either going to confiscate it or he can donate it. So he donated oh, it. Oh, uh -huh. you know, there you but go. On another good note, um, there was a brewery in Ogden, Utah. I heard about that this. Had, yes, uh, that one of their distillery. Um, Part of their their factory. I don't actually know what it is, but one of the one of the distilleries in Ogden, they took one of their their canisters. I don't know what it's called. I apologize. That's okay. But they emptied it out. It has no beer in it. They got it certified, and they are currently making hand sanitizer for the public. Yeah, I thought that was so cool. Instead of taking and right now for the next month, any of any money they make, one hundred percent of it is is being donated to coronavirus relief. I know we said this podcast wasn't going to be about that, but I think I think people like that, Costco, Winco, and this Ogden Brewery, I think they really deserve a shout out. Yeah, so, and like it, it's teamwork, but it's the human team and coming together yes, to help the team. Right there. That's that's why it's relevant, not not because of the pandemic, but because it's teamwork for the human team and I like those stories. I do agree. I do agree. Okay, Blaine, passing it on to you. Okay, um I just thought about in general uh, family life um, basically when I was growing up, I had some siblings that did a lot for the family and then some that seemed to take from the family mm. and, uh, it did a lot to, uh, to promote family when you were giving, mm -hmm. uh, if you complained a lot and didn't do your chores, the whole family suffered uh, because of it. So uh, just a plug for working as a team, as a family, it makes life a lot better. I agree with that. Did you, I could. you know, you can even carry that over into regular day jobs. If so, if you're all working on slightly separate projects, but on the same like queue of tickets or amount of work and someone doesn't pull their weight, it's hard. Yeah, no, you're right. My work. So my work actually has this cool thing that if you do do your job, like you finish your task or whatever it is you're on, you get to do everybody else's work. So, <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel all the time. I, I'm sorry, that's just oh, yeah, you're that's not it. wrong. That's that is precisely how it goes, and it's a bummer, right? It does. It sucks because somebody's not pulling their weight, so you have to pull their weight. Exactly. But and if you don't pull their weight, you look bad. Yeah. And, for, and, and I I hate that. I hate that singular vision of, well you're on the radar because you're doing so good, but now you're slacking a little bit and you're the one that's in trouble versus the dude who's not even pulling his weight. Yeah. I'm with you there. It's, a I mean, it's the same thing as you were talking about with uh, the jungler. Mm -hmm. um, you said it was a jungler. Everybody thought he wasn't doing what he was supposed to, but turns out he made the right call. Well, see, and for, for himself, for an individual, if he were playing in the, the solo queue and he was just trying to get himself ahead, maybe, but in terms of what we were trying to do as a team and to win the game, it wasn't right. And okay, so, yeah, okay. But but I know where you were going with that. Yeah. So. Yeah, good. I like that a lot. I, oh, look at there. We got a close-up of Blaine. Did you all see that? <laughs> did he lean, <laughs> lean forward? Oh, yes, he did. It was a close-up. There he I got to give him crap since he's the only one on camera right now. Yeah. Well, um, well nobody oh, really no, gets to no, see no. him. No, no, no. Actually – Albatross, you can't see it because I'm not in the Discord call with video, but I am uh -huh. actually captured on camera right now. Oh man! I know you're yeah, the only one that isn't. Only one. Well, no, I'm, I'm sorry I'm to all my fans that can't see my pretty face. I even had my wife trim my beard this morning. Aw, nice. Yeah, it still I looks like crap. Bro, bushy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> well then, it's all natural. I don't do anything, people. No, yeah, it's impressive, Blaine, for sure. Yes, yes. So I think now is a, a decent time to transition into our what the f segment. What do you think? Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Ready? Da, 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 what the f? Okay, I've got a good one. But are so we gonna, gonna go? Let's let's do our our poll first from last oh, week. Oh, you know what? You are correct. My apologies. I'm so excited for this one. You do it almost every one. week. When are we gonna fix that? <sighs> I know. I get I get too excited. <laughs> I get too excited. Okay, so let's pull up the poll. Okay, so last week we had three. Uh, one of them was Black Tuesday. That was with Black Tuesday. Bleen with three ins and running out of place. So, so actually what's interesting is running out of place was not my actual story. It was the, the kid at the Chick-fil-A. The kid oh presidents. my gosh, that is correct. My apologies. I did that wrong. I, I was you. trying to think of it, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's the one that stood out. Any, anyway, uh, we only had two votes because the uh, uh, third vote, I had to vote in order to see uh, it. Or, or to see it. So, unfortunately, we only have two listeners still. <laughs> well, two is better, on, better than zero. I agree. Two is better than zero. But so it was 66.7% Black Tuesday and 33% with Lean with three ends. So Black Tuesday did win. There but you go. There are still, I think, five hours left in the vote for that. Oh, will it change? So, I think once we announce it, it's over. Ah, uh, yeah. So at this point, Black Tuesday did win. All right. Well, there we go. Yes. Another week down. So, Albatross, you said you were so excited. Why don't you go first again? Oh, yes. Okay. So <laughs> for everybody that doesn't know, uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday morning at 7.09, the Salt Lake Valley had a, had uh, an earthquake. It was a 5.7 magnitude over Magna. Well, I went to check on every everybody in my family, my wife, my son, my grandma, my dad, my aunt, my mom, everybody. Can't get a hold of my little brother because that shithead doesn't have a phone. Well, right, but we already knew that. Yeah, well, he ended up at my grandmother's house that day freaking out because he wasn't prepared for that. He thought that it, Mother Nature was unfair because it caught him off guard because he's not – he wasn't prepared. So my mine right now is Albatross's brother. That is my what the F again because, <laughs> well, no shit, Sherlock. Nobody was prepared for this because you can't predict an earthquake. I was just about to come in with that. We saw a, a tweet at work about about precisely that. It was It came out from the actual, like – the geological center that that does yeah, the U- seismology department. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They came out and said, "Look, I know everybody's saying that this could be a precursor or a prequake to a big one, but we've been monitoring the situation. We can't predict that, so we can't say yes or no. But from from history, and because re- we can actually record and look at history, the chances of that were of having a category seven now was a one in three hundred. Right. Yeah. At, at that point in time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Before it, that. It could have been a precursor within the first half hour or so. But uh, we were already four or five hours into it. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So, mine, Albatross's little brother. Of course, you weren't prepared for an earthquake. Nobody was prepared <laughs> for an earthquake, you jackass. No, nobody was. <laughs> no. So, and just to be funny, I was actually in the shower when it happened. Mm. <laughs> Hey, you should have seen uh, Moose's face that morning. <laughs> well, was it wider than normal? <laughs> he he got, had gotten woken up by it and had kind of like stumbled out with a weird quizzical face. Wait, wait, what can you? Going since on? you're on camera, can you show us what his face was? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. faces. Well, well, is he home? Uh, no, I don't think so. I haven't okay. heard him yet. Okay. 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 Hey, and moving on. Which one? Who's next? Uh, I, I can go next. Okay. okay. Blaine, what the F? What the F? This is another work thing. I had a coworker who took advantage of the uh, current situation, the coronavirus specifically. Um, a time period where everybody's worried about money, uh, worried about work, how they're going to survive. And he decided to call in sick say he thinks he might have it and the manager said well then go to a hospital and get a note 
tell us if you actually have it or not, or if it's a regular cold, so we know if you can come back in or not. Mm-hmm. He said, actually, I don't think you understood. So basically, w- the manager knew he was trying to take care, take advantage of the situation. To uh, work. So what? Uh, so here, okay, here's my thought process. There, you said, "Hey, manager, supervisor, let's just call him Bob. Hey, Bob, I might have the coronavirus. Okay, well, go get tested. We need, you know, we need to be sure. I don't think you understand. What? Do you, what was there to understand? <laughs> I think I have the coronavirus. <laughs> What what's going on so here? Basically, exactly. he, what the f? He was trying yeah. trying to stay home from work but get paid because if you have it and are quarantined via you know because of it, then then there's compensation, right? Is that no? What? Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, because uh, they knew what was going on because of how he did things, he no longer works at my company. Oh, oh. well, there you go. Uh, well, as well as other things. It wasn't the only thing. That was just the right. straw that broke the camel's back. Yep. So what the F mm. there again. What the F, man. <laughs> oh, like if you're – everybody's posting. Like if you have it, you, like you got to get tested. You got to show proof so everybody knows. Mm-hmm. Why would you try to fake something like that? Teamwork, man. They're not part of Team Teamwork. Human. <laughs> uh, oh. So, yeah, that's my story. And you're sticking to it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. All right. So I know we try and avoid traffic stories, but this one was just too too much for me personally. Okay. My wife and I went out on Tuesday, and when we were leaving, coming out of our neighborhood is a hill. We go we go down the hill to a stoplight. Okay. And when we get to the stoplight, coming this way, there's a truck here on the right. Okay. So. Only people with video can see my hands, but um, oh yeah, because I can't see to this. Our Damn right, it. <laughs> we were we were planning to turn right, and so to our right, heading north, is this truck that wasn't really stopping, just kind of kept going. And as we came up to the light, our light turned green, and that truck kept going, and going slowly. You know, he didn't blow the light; he just kind of kept creeping forward, expecting other people to stop, and they stopped. So he got to turn left on the red light even though our light to go straight east was green and he had plenty of room and time behind the line to stop like he was oh yeah to, oh yeah Ooh. way oh. before he was just creep yeah. creep creep light turns red he creeps forward more our light turns green he forward more and then goes and it's like okay man what what are you doing like that's not what red light means no it's not what yellow no. light means yellow light means no. slow down and he just kept going forward as if nothing had changed. And Hey, he was going slow. Yeah, he was going slow, but <laughs> against the red light, it's just another moron not on Team Human. Oh, you know, this entire week has been Team Anti-Human. It's I agree. ridiculous. It's I don't see why when something happens, everybody has to panic and we can't just make sure everybody's okay. It's because That's, you can't trust the other people to be part of Team Human. I, I agree. It's yeah. It's very sad. Yeah. So anyway, it's the the running the light was was mine. I just it's been bothering me all week. I'm glad I can finally tell someone about it because save it for the podcast, right? <laughs> oh, dude, that's that's been my rule. Like, I I remember yeah. the, the yesterday I was going to tell you my story. Yep, save it for the podcast. Yep, 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 yep. All yeah. right. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this week's segment. So look for that poll to come out at at the end of the night or or tomorrow morning, Saturday. Ah. Uh, Yep, it will be either out tonight because I will post it tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, and again, your votes are for Albatross One Seven's little brother, Bleen. What would you like to call yours? Uh, lying sucks. Well, I was, was going to be like, <laughs> "Fake it till you make it." That, I like that. I like that. Fake it till you make it sounds better. Yeah. And we'll put the three dots at the end. M uh, Juhadre. A uh, light mistake. Light mistake. Oh, that's good. Light mistake. <laughs> and oh. I guess we we did definitely forget this segment brought to you by Soweza Clothing Company. Woohoo! Yeah. Check them out. Soezaclothing.co. They are on our Slink link. Click on them, browse it, and I'm telling you once again, one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever worn. The hat is comfortable, great designs, and anytime you purchase from Soezaclothing.co, use code JUPADRE. 
that will save you 15% on that purchase and what you save so Ezek actually gives to us so that we can get our own brand of shirt with our, our little peas logo on there. We're still looking forward to it. And we just need a, at least two more people to buy a shirt with code Jupodre. J-U-P-O-D-R-E. Well, you said how many do we have already that paid the boss them? I did. Oh. Yeah, we you. only need like <laughs> two more to... So the way, I'll, I'll explain how it works uh after the podcast to you guys but yeah we need like two people two orders and then we can get our jupadre shirt out there okay cool no it that already makes sense i i already understand it okay so now on to the end of the show i do have a couple questions for you guys while we're talking teamwork let's let's be a team and let's actually ask our audience to be part of team jupadre while we come up with some answers to a couple of these questions are you ready I would love it. Okay, I am listening. Do we fix the logo? Because I brought it up not long ago that Albatross and I are on opposite sides of the logo when we're live. Do we fix that? What do you guys Mm. think? I I I don't... think no. You think no? Okay. No. Do you have a reason for it or is it just a no? I do, but it's a surprise, so I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, I know what your surprise is. Oh, that's no, funny. No, this is another surprise. Ooh. So I actually have one for the audience and one for the audience and you guys. Okay. Interesting. Do we get either of them today? No. Dang it! Ugh. You got okay. a hint. You, you, you got to see the first one. Yes. Today. Yeah, I did see part of one. Is the second one a Dr. Pepper cream soda? No. I'm going to drink all bitch. those. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I'm drinking up. So I got my own. That's something to consider. Tweet us at Jupadre or at on Al- Instagram. You know, yep, again, there. Instagram. Well, yeah, Instagram at J-U-P-O-D-R-E. That's all it should be. And then you can also send us an email, jupadrepod at outlook.com. And th- that goes for, for these other things here, too, because I have... Two more. I have two more. Okay. Okay. Well, let me ask one in between. Have we updated our Slink Link with the with the Jupadre Instagram? I have not yet, but I'll get that on there. Awesome. That's actually why I asked it the way I did. What is our our oh yeah Instagram link? Uh Very very sneaky. You're welcome. (laughs) I'm moving on. Okay. uh, The next question. Should we finish the theme song? Because that was a song that we we played as a band for a while, and it, we just you know took kind of tore it apart. Yeah, we tore, we tore it apart. that apart. So that's all we have is that intro is probably sixty percent of the song right now. But if if the audience wants, we could finish that whole song and maybe have it as an extended ending one day. Or, you know, I don't know. What do you think? Should we finish the song? Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave that up to our fans. Do they actually want us to come out with, you know, the full intro? I would like to hear it. So would Hi. I. <laughs> well, <Hi>. <laughs> we all would because we want to play it. We we are I know. part of the band. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, that, that was another thing I would like other people to, to weigh in on because I think it would be a lot of fun to finish that song and have it be, like you said, kind of an exclusive thing for people who mm-hmm. have either uh, bought something on soezaclothing.co or donated to us or, yes. you know, and something I know, special. Yeah, and I do know some people actually only only like to uh, go off of Instagram. So if you want to DM us any of your comments or questions, I know we always talk about talking to you guys on Twitter only. We just, again, I think I have the settings set that anybody can DM us through instagram right now so i am open to that as well okay and then the last thing is we never really finished our conversation about season length what what do the fans think should we have these shorter seasons that are only 16 episodes long or should we try and make season two be the full year season three be the full year etc etc or what do you what do you two think you know, I think I'm going to go with what I said a little earlier. I'd like to hear the fans because mm-hmm. I don't really have a preference. But uh, I might just call on somebody, a fan that I know listens. Okay. 
Blaine, do you have an opinion? Um, no, I think either six months or a year would be a standard thing to go by. But a year seems kind of long, though, just because that's yeah. going to be fifty-two episodes. Yeah, 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 that is long. So, and because if you think about it, most current television series, which run about you know thirty minutes to forty-five minutes, uh, which is about how long our podcast yeah. episodes are, yeah. they're usually between twenty-two and twenty-four episodes on yeah. average. So six months sounds about right. Yeah, because it's half of that 52. Mm-hmm, which would be about 26. All right. Well, so go, on my, so I, I say, you know, between 22 and 26 episodes. I agree. I think that would be good. Hey, teamwork. Yes. Oh, man. Look look at what he's doing there. I love it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Actually, that, that does bring up something else. Um, Albatross, when we were first talking about that, you said... You said your favorite show does 24 uh, episode seasons and then said if anyone can guess it, but that's literally all they had to go on was 24 episode season. Actually, it's not. If they listened to other episodes, they yeah. I did say what my favorite show was. Oh, see, I missed that. So, uh, I know you listen. Oh, okay. man. Do you mean DMAC? DMAC. 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 Yeah, I know you listen. Yeah. I wanna, yeah, but if anybody wants to know, I will give this one last time for somebody to go back and see if they can find out. Otherwise, I'll announce it next week. Sounds good. Here, I'll yeah. give it. I'll give another. I'll I'll give another hint. Right now, they are in their final season. It has gone past. Let's do some math. I want to say it's done over a hundred episodes. Because if we've got, I'll even say it, we got fifteen seasons. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely over 100 episodes. Oh, you know what? They actually had a 300th episode. That's what it was. They did something bigger than 300 300th mm. episode. Yeah. So, they've done 15 seasons. They're on the last season and they made a big deal out of their 300th episode. And currently, the normal producer of it isn't directing right. So, the normal director is not directing right now. The three main characters are currently directing it, the final season. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. And it yes. looks like we lost Bleen. <gasps> well, it must oh, be Moose's no. home. Oh, no. We lost Bleen. Oh, no. <laughs> Bleen, where me, did right? you go? Yes, we can still we can hear, hear you. you, but we can't see you anymore. Can you hear me moment. now? Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, with that, ladies and gentlemen watching, listening, just remember teamwork. We love you. Also, yes, we do love you. But <laughs> remember that if and when you're part of a team, part of being part of the team is doing reaching out to others yeah you know i'm gonna have to say also reaching out to others because expecting somebody just to come help you isn't always going to happen i know times are tough right now but even the jupadre team we love we love everybody and we're here for everybody that's why we're still doing this so be a good teammate help your teammates be good teammates and let's let's hear it for team human this year because it's it's looking tough yeah go out and help your neighbor with something you know, except, as except as don't. they would say in my other favorite to- uh, my other favorite podcast, go team meat sack. There you go, team meat sack. Team and meat so, sack. with all of that, thank you so much for watching and listening to this episode of Jupadre. Don't forget to hit us up on the social media. We've already said it at Jupadre. Oh wow, uh, sorry, <laughs> I, I meant to say Jupadre. Yes, uh. you can follow us at Jupadre on Twitter at Jupadre and Instagram at Jupadre at Twitter to talk to Juhadre at albatross17 to speak to me or uh, at bleen, B-L-I-E-N-N-N. So three N's on Twitter. Again, we have an Instagram now. Post, tag us, go for it. Blow it up. We would love to see it. Then also check us out, uh, rated our esports YouTube page where you can find video. That's at team rated underscore R on Twitter for all of their other content. And check out our Slink link. It's on our Twitter. And don't don't forget, we announced it last week. You can listen to us on all of the following platforms. The YouTube, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and now Pandora. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. And everyone watching probably noticed the, the shift in, once again, the shift in uh, the video. We lost Albatross's picture, but now there are three little circles there with all three of us in the Discord call. Next week, I will have a camera. And with that, 
we're going to close this out. Good night, everyone.